visit family and stuff, spend this year. So it had been, you know, 10 months um, that we, we hadn't, where we hadn't seen them. So it's really great to be over here in Mexico. This is my, my brother's office. Presidente uh, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, <laughs> which my brother has over there. It, it looks as if, you know, we were looking at, a, at the, you know, with the Chinese Communist Party or something like that, you know, but anyway, half of the country or something. But anyway, guys, really, really good to, to be with y'all. Uh, so this week we're talking about keys to want to bless you. We really want to speak into your life. And, um, you know, God is a conqueror. God is victorious. Him and just follow him in his footsteps and everything. And so uh, today I want to talk to you about one of the keys to victory. I know the other guys have been over here and, and I know they're going to keep on doing that. Uh, I just want to, you know, just talk about one thing that will probably, you know, just have a diligence. So, um, my dad used to have this, this guy, this friend and his, his friend, actually it was his boss more, more than a friend. It was his boss. So, uh, and this guy's name was Jorge, um, job where he got a lot of money, you know, just going through his hands. He was a manager at a bank, but not just a regular manager, but he was the, the shot caller. And so um, he got to do crooked things and all that. And uh, he would go to Cancun on vacation, but not with his family. Um, watching from Dallas, Texas. Awesome. Really good. Thank you for connecting. And so this guy, Jorge, you know, like he would go on vacation with all the... At the end, you know, he ended up with nothing. Good morning from Texas. Awesome. Very, very good. I'm over here in Mexico. I'm like three hours away from Texas. I'm really, really close to you guys. I went through his hands, you know, thing. And if you see him, you know, he's, he's a guy who doesn't really enjoy work. Um, he had a business. Makes people end up in poverty uh, and alone with no family. Any, anyway, it's, um, it's, not a, it's not a good thing. I want to read to you someone who, who has been the richest man on, on this planet uh, as far as material um, gain and, and material prosperity. Uh, it says in Proverbs, diligent hands bring wealth. If you guys want to be blessed, if, if you guys want to... Um, good morning from Valdosta, Georgia. Awesome. Robert Haig. Really, really good. I know you guys are fighting a battle over there in Georgia with elections and everything. Good morning from Mexico. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> so, um, ourselves out of these things. Uh, it takes diligence to build things. It, tell, it takes diligence to build uh, a ministry, to build a business from the ground. Anything. It just, it, it's going to take diligence and tenacity and just like keep going when you don't feel like you, you know, just, and just, you just got to keep going. Uh, ten five of peace during harvest full sun. So guys, there's times, you know, for planting. We sow and we reap. Uh, we believe in both. You know, we plant our seed. We bless people. We bless ministries. We give into the kingdom. A lot of us are not good at harvesting. Okay, and I was blessing people and just doing what you're what you're supposed to do, but you're having trouble harvesting. I want to tell you, harvesting. Um, and I harvest come, but I'll tell you what, many times, if not most times, the harvest is not automatic. You actually have to go get it and you get it with diligence and you get it with, with work. When you plant a seed, uh, thank you for writing the scripture harvest. You, I'm talking about in, in the natural, the, the harvest doesn't come automatically into your barn. You actually have to go gather it. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, like I'm, you know, my wife and I were, we, Hey, Columbia, um, we've been, I, I, I was finally found one. Um, we finally found, found one, you know, for us personally. And it seems like something is popping for the church as well. We found, you know, favor with some people and everything. And we, some things are happening. Um, I'll tell you, we've been, you know, just running after it and just believing God and with no money really in the account, except, you know, just, a, for, just enough for a small down payment. But anyway, um, Guys, it's harvesting time and you're letting it, you're not going out there to see, to seek enough opportunities. Um, you think everything is merciful and really good to us and, you know, mail every once in a while. But for big, big, bigger harvests, you know, to, 
you're going to have to start looking for buildings, looking at stuff without money. And, and even if you don't have the resources, don't get intimidated by it, by it, you know, just go out and start if you want to go. Don't let excuses just rule your life. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to read a scripture Romans. So, um, it says over here, do not be slothful in business. Don't be lazy. Get up early in the morning. Just grab yourself by the boots. We're supposed to be under authority where like we're accountable to other people, to someone, your boss or whoever. And, uh, we have, we have to learn to push ourselves, um, and just kind of like be accountable, uh, to other people, but also to ourselves, you know, because some of us don't have somebody micromanaging whatever time, six, seven in the morning or whatever. Um, and I'm going to finish with this one. Proverbs fantasies have no sense. So just diligence, guys. Um, a lot of great things happen when you do small things. A lot of great, we, we get tired of routines and all that, but also routine, just life is just getting up in the morning, you know, get yourself some cereal and kiss a wife and, and, and the great things happen. Uh, extraordinary th things happen, you know, during ordinary times. And you just do the small things right and well, and just try to improve those small things every day, every day, every day. And when you look back at Colombia, uh, we, uh, we keep trying to perfect the recipe, you know, so, so to speak. We keep trying to make the experience better. I see, you know, how they're doing and all that. And so, we just keep improving the thing, um, are getting more mature and everything. And it's, it's a great experience. So anyway, diligence guys, just keep doing small things with a spirit of excellence. Uh, guys, thank you for connecting today. Remember use diligence in whatever the, whatever it is that you're, uh, if you guys want to partner with this ministry, uh, you can definitely, um, you know,